The spirit of Jesus is the strength of his disciples. Monday of the second Easter week. This talk and meditation is prepared by Jeremy Habiarimana. First reading. At the end of the prayer, the Holy Spirit filled them all, and they boldly announced the word of God. Reading the book of Acts of the Apostles, 4, 23-31. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. When they heard it, they raised their voice to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the people entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed. Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, to do what your hand and your had long ago planned to take place. Now, Lord, take note of their threats, and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness, as you stretch forth your hand to heal, and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered together shook and were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Psalms 2, 1 to 3, and 4 to 7. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the people are utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. He who is throned in heaven and laughs, the Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on the Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Alleluia, alleluia. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated, at the right hand of God. The Gospel He who is not born again cannot see the kingdom of God. Reading of the Holy Gospel according to John 3, 1 to 8. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grow old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed what I told you. You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, He who calls us to be born again in the Spirit, which He Himself gives us, He who strengthens His persecuted disciples by sending them the Spirit of courage to proclaim His name, Christ our Lord, appears before us to continue leading us down the path of eternal joy through its sanctifying word. In the first reading, Jesus Christ shows us his strength, which strengthens his people, especially in critical moments, in moments of trial. The Spirit of Jesus guides us, but in order to strengthen and persecute the homeless, 
so that the inveterate do not impede their evangelizing work. They must invoke the Holy Spirit, ask Jesus or his Father to send it to him. In other words, persecution proof is good because it makes Jesus' disciples feel that they themselves are nothing. This is what Jesus Christ preached. Without me, you can't do nothing. Sometimes one can be wrong, especially and when he discovers the signs. The signs of the Holy Spirit in his life, the devil can deceive him by believing him to be a special person. But he is nothing. Only the Holy Spirit can and does. The Holy Spirit of Jesus, the Spirit of the Father, acts through those who believe in Jesus Christ. Precisely the first reading confirms this to us. Although they had received the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, before the great persecution, this is the disciples stagger. Remember not only their human weakness, but above all the force that accompanies them. And having faith, that faith that they receive in a special way on the day of Pentecost, begin to pray to the Father in the name of Jesus Christ, asking for the spirit of courage. The answer does not take long. They receive strength and continue to proclaim. We disciples of today, when we evangelize, what do we think? Do we think that is it is we or rather that it is the Holy Spirit who does it? If it is the Holy Spirit, do we invoke him? If we don't, Jesus Christ reminds us today, do not await for the hard times to remember your weakness. You have to know that you continually need that supernatural power, the protector, the, com the comforter, the evangelizer, the announcer of Jesus Christ to follow the evangelizing work. In the gospel, Jesus Christ evangelizing announces to Nicodemus the work of the Holy Spirit, that force, that love of the most powerful and beautiful and mighty that enters the heart of man and leads him to do what by his forces is incapable. That strength of the Father of Jesus that changes the heart of the evil man, sowing in his life goodness, meekness, forgiveness, chastity, joys, peace, the Spirit of Jesus. Those through the prayer of the, prayer of the Virgin Mary and all the holy apostles, the Spirit of Jesus, the Spirit of the Father, descend upon us in the name of Jesus of Nazareth so that we may be born again in the Spirit and proclaim Jesus of Nazareth, the Lord and the Savior. Come, Holy Spirit. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. Immaculate Heart of Mary, protect us. Our Lady of Carmen, pray for us. Jesus Christ, be praised. Mm -hmm.